Hi, and welcome to another of our Name the Interval videos, where I've just got five intervals up here on the board, and it's just a question of naming them. So if you know about intervals, this will be fine. It will just give you a bit of practice. If you don't know about intervals, please don't worry about it at all. All an interval is, is the distance between two notes. And we just have a way of naming these in music. And so we can talk a bit about that as we go. And if you want to know more about intervals, I'll point you in the right direction later on. So let's have a look at the first of our intervals. Here it is. The lower note is F sharp and the upper note is A. So the first thing to do is to try and work out the number of the interval. So what's the distance between F sharp and A? And if you're not sure how to do this, you call the lower note number one and you just count up. So don't worry about F sharp, it's F something. And we're going F, G, A, F, G, A. So this is a third. So if you can tell me that's a third, you're well on your way to understanding intervals. If you're kind of at a further on stage with intervals, you'll be wanting to say what kind of third this is. So I wonder if you can see what kind of third we might be dealing with here. Pause the film at any point if you want to just think about this, but it's a third, and I'll tell you now that it's a minor third. F sharp to A is a minor third. Okay, let's move on to the second interval. See how you get on with this one. Now this one looks quite wide, doesn't it? We've got D at the bottom, we've got F at the top, but actually this D is not just a couple of notes away from F, it's a long way away, isn't it? So we could do all our counting, and we can see how many we've got. So D's number one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you can call this a tenth if you want to. There's also something else that you could call it. So it could be a tenth, that's perfectly reasonable, perfectly accurate. If you want to bring the F down an octave or bring the D up an octave, you could then say, that it's some kind of third, because D, E, F is a third. And when we have intervals that are bigger than an octave, we call them compound intervals. So you could call this a compound third. So either it's a tenth or it's a compound third. Either way, perfectly reasonable. What kind of tenth is it? Well, it's a minor tenth or a compound minor third. Okay, here comes the third interval. We've got G at the bottom and we've got D sharp at the top. So what's the number? G, A, B, C, D. It's some kind of fifth. All right, so it's a fifth. If you want to know what sort of fifth it is, I wonder if you could work that out if you're into intervals. And the answer to this is that it is an augmented fifth, an augmented fifth. Okay, let's have a look at the next one and see if we can see what's going on here. Well, let's count up. A at the bottom, F at the top. So one, two, three, four, five, six means that this interval must be some kind of six. Now, for those who want to go on and say what kind of six it is, Little bit tricky this one, isn't it? With A sharp at the bottom. So I wonder if you can work out what it is. Okay, I'm just gonna give you a moment to pause and think about that one. And if you want to pause the video at this point to give yourself a bit of extra thinking time, that's absolutely fine. But this is a diminished six, a diminished six. Okay, and the last one, oh, this is looking a bit funny, isn't it? We'll come back to this sign in a moment. Let's see if we can do the number of this interval. Well, it's one, two, three, four, some kind of G to some kind of C. So don't worry about sharps and things, just think G, A, B, C, that's four. So this is a fourth. You're always counting the lower note as number one when you do your counting. 
As to what kind of fourth it is, well, here comes the challenge. What do you think that fourth is? And again, I'll give you a moment just to think about it if you're trying to make the calculation, or you might want to pause and just come back to me when you've had a chance to think it through. Well, this is a diminished fourth, a diminished fourth. So there we are. Those are the intervals we have today. And I said that I would explain to you a little bit more about where to find help with intervals if you want to know more about them. Hopefully, even from this, you can see how to do the counting of the films. But if you want to know all this stuff about major and minor and augmented and diminished and perfect and all this stuff, if you go onto the Music Matters website, you'll find a whole load of videos there um, on the theory section covering grades one, two, three, four, and five that gradually unfold the whole story of intervals. So by the time you get to grade five, you'll know all the ins and outs of how to name intervals. So have a look there if this is something you want to know about.